Hi everybody, Martin at Flicking Feathers again today, and I'm tying a Blue Wing Olive Last Chance Cripple. As always, I'll put a materials list in the description, along with a link to the Patreon page. For anyone that wants to support the channel, get access to the members only content, as well as being entered into the fly giveaways. So I've got my I've got my hook my vice. It's a it's a TMCO 100. This is a size 16. Right, though it's quite big in there. These are quite big 16s, or they're quite big hooks for the size of TMC 100s. Um, I mean, I've got like a sort of spring olive in mind really when I'm tying this, which is if you were using another hook, might be a 14. So I've got my, I'm running around some thread, this is just 8 aught uni, and I'm using olive. I take it down to the start of the bend. I'm going to cut off a few fibres from a mallard flank feather. They're not very good. You want the tips to be lined up. And there might be, I don't know, four or five, six fibres there, something like that. Shank length off the back. And I turn to hold it. At this stage I'll just check the length. You can actually just use your scissors to measure. It's a wee bit long. I just ease it in just a wee bit. One more turn will lock it. Now I'm going to just use some take a wee bit of Z law and a rantro and a poly yarn, and this is about. I've split it into about four or five. Uh, depends how thick the chunk is you've got, but this is much less than a full. A full. Uh, thing. Definitely no more than a quarter. I'm just squaring up the end and then so that it's not a completely st straight edge, kind of unnatural looking, twist them together and I'm just going to cut it at a slight angle. Right, and then I'm going to tie this in on top half the length of the mallard flank. And that's sort of an info shock and all that. Shall we tidy up? And I'll bring my thread back. A wee bit of wax on it just to give me a bit more security when I tie in this. Yeah. So I'm taking an olive <coughs> goose by it. I'm going to tie it with the furry edge, the, 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 the lipped edge up so that it's cupping the This is though the, the feather would have tied it in his cup in the shank. And then I always like to just check, and that's fine, that the fuzzy end is going to be in the right orientation when I wind it. Now, this is one thing I'm no so keen on about this fly. 
it's tied so that there is a sort of ribbed effect. Um, people, a lot of people like it. They go, it's, it's a buggy effect. But if you look at a natural, those wee buggy ribs don't actually exist. They're much smoother. So I'm just got to take my hackle pliers. Got a bit of super glue on the shank there. And I'm just going to wind forward. This will stick as it goes. Now, that's probably about the length of the abdomen. But I'm going to take another couple of wraps so that I'm not stretching forward and distorting the 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 ribbon effect. Right, if it's going to be there, I want it to be nice and even. So that was there. A wee bit of super glue just escaped, just using my bodkin to take it away. Now I'm going to tie back. Now, if you want to, if you're if you're unsure of your measure, you can just come in and check. You've got another fly. Well, once you've tied your first one, I suppose. You've got a fly there, you can come in and go all that well. Have to come back to here. Right, and then you know it's the same size, your proportions will be the same every time. Once you get used to it, you probably won't need to do that, but it's. it can help you. So I've got a wee bit of dubbing here. This is just a uh, blue winged olive colour. Uh, super fine. I mean, the original dressing cause for the trout hunter dubbing, Renee's own dubbing, but it doesn't really make any difference to the fish. And it's there aren't any shops in Japan that sell it, so I just use super fine. Put up a nice little ball, and then I'm going to get my emergent wing. I just want a couple of CDC feathers. Just looking for sort of decent sized ones. And then set them back to back so that they're naturally curving away from each other. There is a slight curve to the feathers and they're sweeping away there. And then just line up the tips. And then offer them in side by side. You can sweep everything forward. And wing length, again, you're looking a shank off the front. See a couple of wraps and you can still adjust at this stage. Then lock it back. Make sure you come right back to the dubbing. I like to come on and I'll trim this just behind the dubbing. Right, I like that kind of coming to that as you can see the first that does the first segment of the body. If you want it a wee bit shorter, tie it a wee bit shorter. Hackle, it's just a blue done. This is just a whiten. Neck, hackle, trim off the tips at the, the base of the fibre, oops, trim off the fibres at the base of the hackle just to give you a wee bit of grip, 
and I'm going to offer it in with a good side away from me. Catch that in. And the, the base piece is just the length of this uh, small section. I'm getting to the end of this hackle, so I'll just use my hackle pliers rather than my fingers. Take this a full turn at the front, and then I'll come down. You probably only need about three turns in total than the, the three thorax, and then I'll follow this round with my thread. Come up through it, lock in the hackle in place, get my thread in front of the wing, just unclip that. And I'm going to come in, just pull everything back so there's nothing going forward of the eye. So we fiber there are I don't like, I'm going to take a couple of wraps of thread before I put finish just to, just to get it out of my way. There we go. Right, just two turns is all I need it there just to push that wee bit of hackle away. And then, come on, I'll just whip finish by hand. Support the hook, tighten that knot, make sure it's well seated. Now hopefully we'll be able to just break this without cutting it. Now you don't need to worry about cutting other, any more of the, the uh, hackle barbs. And there you go, that's it. Last chance cripple. And a blue winged olive. A sheet. Hope that was useful. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, please uh, give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Hit lens, guys. Bye.